cool, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, are you gonna pause that you or? Get her? No, no, we'll we'll just. Okay. We'll just play it. All right, this is a good time to plug Mario. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, Mario gets the guess. Any house, anybody you know that needs to sell a home, uh, get rid of a house, going and through for, foreclosure. Exactly. You need to call Mario. And matter. And, go ahead. Yeah, just uh, he got his his information at the. Uh, Hey, what's the best way to get in contact with I'm, you? I'm going I'm to give him your number. You want to give him the number? Yeah, so y'all need to call Mario if you're in the Houston area and you want to sell a home, buy a home, anything to do with real estate, you may need some questions. Mario is 832-859-1858. You yep. can find him on Instagram at, what's your Instagram, Mario? Uh, real Estate Guru PK. And Facebook? If you want to. Uh, Facebook is Landlord PK. So you you may have a cousin, an aunt, an uncle, yeah. a, a, a longtime relative who you don't even like, that that uh, or you inherited a property through through uh, probate. Mm-hmm. If you need to get rid of a property, you need to call Mario. Mm-hmm. So we have a guest. Guest, if you could uh, put your headphones on and uh, put so, the mic. Uh, this is, let me introduce this is Miss White. Um, she's a uh, real estate. A lawyer? Attorney. I am not a lawyer. Oh, attorney? I work for a law firm. We um, specialize in doing evictions. Okay. Um, and then I have my own company, Ladies First, which oh. we also do um, evictions as well. Um, through the company that I work for, we only take investors that have 100 properties or more. Oh, wow. Or large inc- apartment complexes that have more than 100 units. Um, so anything mm-hmm. under that is what I take. Mm-hmm. So I work with the small, uh, the smaller investors, the newer investors, and um, I'm in the courts five days a week. As you know, you file your evictions through any of the JP courts yep. in Harris County or any of the surrounding counties. Yep. And if you do have under 100 properties, uh, you can turn them over to me. Um, I basically will do your three-day notice for you. It's very important that there are um, certain guidelines that you follow when you are evicting someone out of your property, Mm -hmm. if it is a rental property. And so I make sure that all your guidelines are followed. Um, I also work with your tenant to give them an opportunity to go ahead and catch up, um, cut the deal for you. You know, a lot of people just want the tenant out, but in a lot of cases they're willing to take their money. Yeah, okay. So give uh, give us a couple of horror stories uh, (laughs) with with evictions. uh, Yeah. Uh, let me ask you, how Go much ahead. does that cost, real quick? So the fee in Harris County is one hundred and twenty-one dollars to evict someone. It's a very simple fee, uh-huh. and then that is basically to file your case, uh-huh. and you will be assigned a court date. Mm-hmm. Um, that is also including what it'll cost for the constable to go out and file the eviction or actually okay. serve your tenant with the eviction. Mm-hmm. Constable will go out and try to reach that person two to three times, if they can't get a hold of that person to hand yeah. it to someone 18 years or older, then um, they have to come back to the court mm-hmm. and ask uh, the judge to sign an order to allow them to post it on the last known address mm-hmm. of that tenant. Uh, you have two tenants in there. It's 196 Okay. Is that how much it cost? Uh, is that if, if we didn't use your service, how much is your Those service? are your fees. So with me, it's $150 in uh-huh. Harris County, mm-hmm. and that will cover... Me, um, that's not your county court cost. Mm -hmm. That's before your your fee. That's correct. So it's $150. I'll do your three-day notice. I'll make sure that Mm. your tenant is properly served the three-day notice, whether it be by certified mail, posting inside of the door. Mm -hmm. And the only time that you can normally or should use mail is if you cannot post inside the door because there's a pet or... um, if that person doesn't have a mail box in case of a rule. I don't know why I was thinking it's like five hundred dollars do this. That's pretty good. My fee is one fifty and that's the filing mm-hmm. and that's me appearing in court mm-hmm. to basically represent and what, you. What, what were the fees outside of your fees again? So it's one twenty one. That's your court cost. Yeah. One twenty. Yeah. So my fees are separate from your court cost. So she's, she's charging one fifty. Yeah. One twenty one is a total court cost and one fifty is your fee to do what you do. Uh-huh. That's correct. So you're looking at two hundred. Yeah. Three almost three hundred mm-hmm. bucks, right? Was it one twenty one plus yeah. one fifty? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two seventy? That's yeah. it. That's it now. It's cheap. Your tenant has an opportunity to um, request a jury trial. 
and um, state their case amongst um, community of their peers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we have to go to a jury trial, then my fee is an extra $200. Oh, and you know, and they pay that jury fee. It's, it's a nominal fee. And a lot of them do it just to buy time. Oh, they really? They file yeah. their appeal mm-hmm. to buy time. The you you know, most landlords need to understand yep. the appeal process. So mm-hmm. if it's very important that you know. Go if ahead. you're one of Mario's tenants, take notes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Appeal, appeal, appeal. Yeah, yeah. Appeal. yeah. Appeal. appeal. Keep appealing. Remember, if you want to give him a hard time. I mean, you know. Yeah. E- eventually, Man, if you haven't paid rent, so we can't have to go. We can't just roll up in there and be like, this is my property get with out. my shotgun. Get out. Yeah, you uh, no, no, it's like, do you, does no. you no. supply like bulletproof You cannot change or locks like on your tenants. Yeah. I know, I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Absolutely. Do not change any locks uh-huh. before you have gone to see the judge um, because the judge can, in that case, Number one, the judge can do a 24-hour order for you to unlock those locks and let that tenant back in. Mm-hmm. And then you pissed off the tenant, and they might tear your stuff up. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. No, that's true. Yes, they right. go in there and, and, and do five, for six holes, thousand dollars of damage. Mm-hmm. To rip out your um, yep. your your copper pipe for the AC stuff. Rip out your that's plumbing. The, that's the most popular thing they do. Yeah. What? Take so, your copper? Yeah, take the copper from the AC. Yeah, oh, sure. really? Yeah. yeah sure. So 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 now you got to get an AC guy out there. You got to buy the copper again. Wow. If they I rip, just had a a, yeah. a, a, t- a client, I should say who told me that they would have the money. We cut them a really good deal. They were four months behind. We allowed them to just give us one month with no late fees, and they told us they'd have it, and on that day they owed the money, um, went into the place. They weren't there, and they had splashed paint all over the place, wall to floor, Mm -hmm. stopped up the um, sinks and toilets with newspaper, and turned the water on and let it run. They, they don't know about concrete. Sometimes they put concrete in there. Man, but yeah. if they do, they do that concrete, it's, it's a wrap. You don't want to piss them off, you know. I mean, just follow the law because they do have rights. This uh, Texas is a landlord-friendly hmm. state. What? So the landlord does have the better right. And, you know, if you all out there are doing uh, commercial properties, that's a whole different ball game with mm-hmm. rentals, you mm-hmm. know, because you can lock the doors on a commercial tenant yeah, you immediately. Yep. For what I they owe, and you don't have to open the doors unless they give you that full amount. But you still have to do the notice and mm-hmm. give them proper notice mm-hmm. about them being late and for them to vacate. The so premises. that landlord, for me, I would say they're four months behind. Get rid of these people. Get get rid of people well, that no are going to be problem. Ten, no, people. La- no tenant sh- should yeah. go four months. No landlord should allow a tenant to go. Four I know. Just get behind. rid of them. Get somebody else. Because I mean, the companies that I represent, yeah. you know, you're not. You, you owe on the third. You're late on the fourth. I file on the tenth. You know, Absolutely. these are and you know, and we're in court within two weeks after that. It might be a delay in in service, but within a month, they're out of there. You know, and then they can go through their their appeal rights process. But um, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, I, every time you delay that process, you lose more money. Exactly. You Don't lose even more money. hesitate. Right. And, and the whole thing. Number one, you just want the property back. Oh. Even if you can't get the money, the first and foremost thing you want is possession of the property, so, so that you can. Uh-huh. I've heard people like just buy it, like hey if you just get out of here I'll give you a thousand dollars just just go you know in some cases I mean yeah. I have I have some landlords that have smaller yeah. properties yeah. that they'll they'll help them relocate yeah. because they've been good tenants but they've gotten so far behind especially with all this Harvey stuff going on you know yeah. there's a lot of different stories oh, yeah. there's a, there's some that are still trying to ride that wave out but you know yeah. a lot of these judges they're they're hip to the game now but there's some legitimate stories of people waiting on funds yeah people that have been put in properties i have a couple tomorrow that i'm going to court on mm-hmm. that you know they've been waiting on um a couple of nonprofit agencies to they're to displaced. take yeah, yeah. they're mm-hmm. displaced so mm-hmm. every case you know is an individual H- case how you feel about uh how you feel about tenants being behind on their rent but then then they'll hire a lawyer to uh, represent them in court. How do you feel about that? They have that? that right. Exactly. They have that right. But for As the record, mm-hmm. like I said, um, the firm that I work for, I am the representative in court for the landlord. Um, I also can represent tenants as well and do because I'm a paralegal, but landlord-tenant law is the only law in the state of Texas that you do not have to be a lawyer to be able to represent a landlord or a tenant. Mm. And that's how I'm able to yeah. do what I, I do. I was to say, that's how you put money in your pocket. Yeah. I know that. So. Yeah, and so and I, cool. and I do it all day long. You know, tomorrow I have 21 cases. Oh, my in goodness. In the same court I met Mario. And I'm in that court every Tuesday and Friday. Uh-huh. And JP wow. courts uh-huh. around the city. Because he was trying to uh-huh. get a tenant out or something, right? Yeah, I was, uh, I was following the... I was 
I had court that day, and then I ran into her. So, that's so would, oh, you, really? would, you, would you rather spend your time in court or just pay her? It depends. He's oh already committed to paying me. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's, that's, that's what I was like. Just pay her, man. He, he's I was like, already it's no committed brainer. to paying no me. Brainer, right? No and he, he sent me a bunch of cases, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and so with Ladies First, um, I do a lot more than Landlord Tenant. You know, we do, of course, probably some of the things you guys do. Yeah. Um, I have a host of ladies. And... Uh, I work with She Buys Ugly Houses. Um, oh, she's one yeah. of my girls. Mm-hmm. I work um, with her also on the money management where we do foreclosure saving, saving people from foreclosure. Um, we file civil cases. We do a ton of things. How, how much when does that? How much? Oh. Well, how much does that run people to uh, save them from foreclosure? It just depends on the situation. It's going to depend on the situation. That was my question. We got people that will come right. in and save the house when the taxes are due. We have people... But, what she does, and shout out to Deborah Barnes. She's going to be watching this podcast, and hopefully she'll be your guest uh, next week. Okay. So when you're trying to save somebody from a foreclosure, yes, what are the options you give them, just in general? Uh, every situation is different, right? Every situation is different. Obviously, the first thing we're doing is trying to find out what rights they have, you know, and that's, and that's what Deborah does. It's her specialty. She'll find out what rights they have. A lot of these people are seniors. Does she buy them know? out or something like that? No, we actually make try to first and foremost let them stay in their property. Okay, and that's her specialty, and keeping then, people in their property. And then when they don't, what happens? When and you then, can't, like and then just, of course, they can't, they and then can't of stay. course we w- yeah, then we try to we l- relocate them, mm-hmm. and we have people that we work with to put them in a place. And then of course, then we work with people like you guys that want to come in and take over the property before it gets on that list downtown. Yes, man. Nice. Yeah. Good person on, to know. See, we're the old school uh-huh. people doing it. We're the 50 plus women that handle yeah. the business. So we got a lot to teach y'all. Y'all need to stay close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trust me, trust me. We're, we're definitely working on all that. Well, she oh. she sent me a uh, an investor that was uh, mm-hmm. trying to uh, sell me some property. So I, I'm, I'm already ahead of the, the mm-hmm. game right now. <laughs> what about. Uh, we have okay. numerous investors, yeah. So as a landlord uh, and you getting tenants, what kind of advice would you give them, like, as far as screening tenants or. Do you have, like, websites you would tell them to go to to screen their tenants, or would you give them, like, a checklist, or what would you do? You, you need know? to send them to ladies first, because we do. <laughs> you, do, you do the? Yes, tenant background screening. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. The ladies handle it all. All right, good. Uh, what 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 are some so, things? Go ahead. So you're saying no realtor? No realtor. Mm-hmm. We have yeah. realtors, yeah. and I have no, a host you, of attorneys. No, I mean, attorneys. you have a realtor, but you got to... But you don't need a realtor oh, to, to do a background okay. screen yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or a tenant. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, but but I work... I have a ton of realtors that I work uh-huh. with, but and I work for, with four attorneys but you're that saying handle any sign, of the legal stuff. So you're saying sign up for an assessment for rent by owner, or... You're talking about to lease your property? Yeah, to lease your property. Oh, I mean, there's a numer- number of ways you can lease your yeah. property, of course. You know, you can go green sheet. You can put a sign in the yard. You can put it in the Chronicle. What are you know, I mean, if you network with yeah, people, yeah. Ch- chances are you don't have to. If you're doing this kind of stuff mm-hmm. and you guys are all on a network, for us, we don't even have to go do put a sign in the yard. We already know. We already have people, all of us. We're trying to put people in places. We're trying to save people from losing their homes. You know, it's it, we're not trying to get people out of their homes so we can make money on buying mm-hmm. it because, you know, it's a ministry, to be honest with you. Yeah. And this is, um, you know, the way you get what you want in life is to help other people get what they want in life. Mm-hmm. And um, and that's that goes full circle. So, mm-hmm. um, But we can do whatever it is necessary. You know, you want to list it. I have <coughs> realtors that can list it. Um, you want to evict somebody, mm-hmm. obviously we can handle the eviction. You need screening, real screening, mm-hmm. the screening where you check out the people that are answering the phone, verifying whether or not these people have good rental history. Real we references. Real references. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we do that. Um, we, you want us to do the three day notices. You want us to go in and negotiate with your tenants. You know, a lot of landlords, they like their tenants. They don't really want to be hard on. They don't want to talk. They don't want to. They don't want to look at them in court because they don't want to have to evict them, you know. Mm-hmm. And so we we go in and give them a number of options, creative options to stay, or if they need to go. And let me say something about people that are evicted. You know, I was evicted when I had small children, and my children are thirty years old and twenty five years old, and through a series of circumstances and not getting child support from baby daddy and all that. I was evicted once. Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody that I evict in court, you know, yes, I work for the landlord primarily. 
Um, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me because a lot of these tenants are in a rut and they get complacent. Nobody wants to move. Moving is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. I'm like, you did. You just yeah. did. I mean, <laughs> you know. And so a lot of people, they need that nudge to move on to the next level in their life, whether they really needed to downsize and they just didn't feel like packing up. Um, but if, if they believe in a higher power, whatever higher power you believe in, then um, things always work out. So eviction is not the end of the world. But for landlords, don't necessarily look at a person that's been evicted and decide you don't want to rent to them. Hmm. You know, because um, you have some landlords out there that have done some underhanded stuff that haven't repaired their properties. Hmm. And, and, and the tenants, thinking they can hold back their rent, which they really cannot. It's not legal hmm. to hold your rent hmm. in lieu of repairs not being done. Um, you know, the tenants, they have the money at a certain point. The landlord doesn't want to deal with them anymore. They've been waiting on money, waiting on money. They finally got it. Landlord says, look, I can't do it. So they've got a, a handful of cash to give you maybe two months up front. And, you know, so take every case on an individual basis. And just because a person may have been evicted or, or may have, um, you know, not paid their rent on time, you know, really get to know the tenant, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I encourage everybody to give people a chance. And then there's some people out there that's just running game. Mm -hmm. You need Smooth to know the Smooth talkers. I, I, I was telling you about, about that, Mari. I was like, man, I was telling you. That, oh, no, I know. Those smooth talkers got bad. I got bad credit. What? <laughs> what? That was because of this, that, and the other. You know, I'm good now. I got a, I got a good paying job now. And that's true. Yeah. You got some people that they finally they've gotten their break, and yeah. now, I know friends. You know that struggle with their credit for years, and now they're making six figures finally. But the credit is. But is I mean, loving. what do you do? To, I mean, you as a landlord, you got to offset that by. Double deposit or Double something. Deposit. Double deposit. Or Double deposit. Three yep. months rent up yeah. front. You know, I mean, yeah. do creative things. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I like that three months rent yeah. up front. Yeah. I, I, I was like, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I, I, yeah. I'm yeah. in a nightclub venture right now. And, you know, my people, they paid nine months rent up front because they mm. otherwise couldn't have gotten the, the club they got. Mm. You know? Okay. Landlords, didn't, they didn't want to. It's a strip center. They didn't want to take a chance. Mm -hmm. You know, but money talks. Mm, it does. Always. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I had a, uh, I had a. A mentor, like, he kind of, uh, I think I lost his number, but he told me <laughs> he had, like, 50 rentals. And he was like, um, he lost his number. no, 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 I, I didn't lose his number. I think he changed his number. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, man, that sounds even worse. He, he was wasn't like, that good of a mentor then. Yeah. Well, when, when he gave me his card, I, I wouldn't op roll the window down yeah. for him. And so I said, just leave it in the outside of my door. Because he walking up to me looking all strange. He yelling. Oh, he looking, you know, where I, the courthouse, I don't know who this man is knocking on the window, asking me to roll my window down. But anyway, so <laughs> he put the card on the window. So as soon as he walked off, I went to get it. The car went down in the, in the door panel. Oh. So I chased him down. Hey, hey, I need your card again. He's like, oh, yeah. So, you know, yeah. That's Otherwise, funny. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I got plenty of work stuff I can give that boy. And I, he's gone. And we That's meet people. We lose their cards. Yeah. Just keep those contacts, those con all contacts. Get right. you an old-fashioned Rolodex. Yeah. I mean. And still tape those cards inside <laughs> of a Rolodex. You can, like. Yes, we use all the digital pictures, stuff. Though, right? Take yeah. pictures, right? Take pictures. Make a, a digital file. But still get you an old-fashioned right. Rolodex. That's what I do. Get a and rubber flip band. Through it. That's, you know. <laughs> Tie them all together. You got a big old. But then in a yeah. Rolodex like this, you put them, alphabetize them under categories of what they do. Mm -hmm. Their last name. Y'all don't know about Rolodexes. Yeah. We ain't that. I mean, we ain't that uh, no. young. Yeah. <laughs> Tape. You got a Rolodex? No, I don't. You got a Rolodex? No, I don't. You got one, sir? My secretary does. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you got you to answer for everything. Fly. She does. Yeah. It's it's right fly. there in the front. That's right. Fly. And she gets all the cards and. Yeah. yeah, and then you can digitally do them yeah. too. But you know, okay. yeah. what, what were you yeah. saying? I, I, oh, I, I did the phone. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I was I was saying like he basically said like he'll he'll run out to anybody, but he he'll take two three months uh, rent in advance. Like he was like, I'll rent to you. Like I'll rent to you. Like after he does a back yeah. check, I'll rent to you, but it's gonna cost you. Like that's, yeah, if you have bad credit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that's you typical. Go up from there. That's pretty yeah. typical, yeah. right? That, testing, testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you go up from there, but you know. Don't do it to everybody. Eviction is an easy <laughs> yeah. process. People don't yeah. realize it's very easy to get somebody out of your house yeah. or out of your property. So, you know, you rent to them, it doesn't work out, you know. Get them out. You can get them out. Deposit, the best way to do it instead of them paying up rent is to take it as a deposit mm -hmm. because that way you don't have to give that money back. 
You yeah, know what I mean? You don't have to give the deposits back. No, I mean if they, once you if they, you evicted them because for non payment of rent, uh, yeah, yeah. Ne- they can never so, get their so, deposit back. So if they pay up rent, then they're entitled to stay there. They're home. entitled to yeah. stay there. Yeah, just change right. that change that up, Mario. Just right, three. they're entitled to stay there, and there are other issues you evict them for too. Not just a non payment of rent. You get there, there's activity that is disturbing neighbors or your other yeah. tenants or unlawful activity, un- unlawful or just disruptive. Yeah, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be against the law. It's just disruptive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's disruptive. You know, mm-hmm. they, whatever. They're, you know, you know that inside of your house is probably looking like a disaster. Yeah. Exactly. You know. So they park their cars on the lawn. Stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know, and you send them the warning. You know, notice is important. Know that everybody has to be notified. Mm-hmm. Do you do the notices too? I do notices. See, that's yeah. That's yeah. That's what, do you got to take a about. picture that you did a notice or how It's how always that advised that you, you take a picture write? because if you yeah. don't post it, if you say you posted it different well, or well, What if you text it to him? Is that is that That's count? not a notice. Text it? Yeah. That's I would do good, I would right? uh, How do you know they saw the text? He replied. If they replied and you do a screenshot, but let me tell you, most judges are not going to allow you to bring that phone. Exactly. You better print that no, I whole am. page I out. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Print it out. And that's how you can do that. And now, if it's printed out and you have, you know, legitimate messages going back and forth, then the judge is going to ask, is this your phone number, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly acceptable, but so, I wouldn't use that as your only so form proof, of notice. proof okay. of communication. That's right, proof of communication. Certified letters better, mm-hmm. right? Um, no, or no? Ha- hand deliver is yeah, the yeah. best. Yeah. You know, but, if you can catch them. But how's their you, proof that you gave them the letter? I take a picture. I know. I videotape I, when I hand deliver. You too, right? Yeah. Document. Usually I hand it, but I don't normally, you know, and I've been, I'm, I do process service too, serving mm-hmm. the papers for, you know, so normally, you know, when you're trying to get somebody and chase them down to serve them, you know, video, camera, uh-huh. you know, hand deliver is good, but when you post that notice, just make sure you take a picture of uh-huh. how you posted that okay. notice because if you check that box and say, I posted notice inside of the door, mm. and you really taped it on the outside of the door, which a ton of landlords get their cases thrown out for that small for, technicality. For what, for what? You tape that notice on the outside of the door, but you're checking off the box on your three-day notice if you're using some of the standard forms that say you posted inside, inside. of the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What but how, how, do they know, how do they know, though? How, how, would the, how would the judge know that? Would the... Would they take a picture or like? How Sometimes would they, the tenant will. The, the tenants the tenant, know. They, they know. know the laws. <laughs> yeah, they know that thing. I'm like, I've done this a couple of times. Okay, or well, they call yeah, somebody yeah. that gives them some like, advice. What? You know, there are attorneys out there that will charge them once they're evicted. You, hear you got that? people that hang out in the parking lots. I'm not going to give anybody an idea, but of the courts, as soon as they're evicted, they come down. They'll pay them to tell them how to do the appeal process that we're talking about right now. So, so if you give give me 350 whatever, oh, I'm going to yeah. teach you, go back up there, file your appeal. You, you have to put up two huh? months' rent yeah. whenever you file an appeal. So appeal is just not I'm, I'm filing an appeal and I get to stay. You have to put up two months' rent with the court. Mm-hmm. Did you get it back? Um, if you win the case ultimately. But most of the time, if you're being evicted – for non-payment of rent, yeah, it's gonna go down to the county courthouse and all of that. But you're still evicted, and that money's gone. Take that money and move, you know. And that's that's free for you mm-hmm. tenants out there. So but yeah, if y'all are hustlers out mm-hmm. there, you better watch this podcast. Mm. You know, what I'm saying you might get a couple of free rent. Well, rent. yeah, yeah. It, eventually you're gonna be. Eventually, the judge is gonna say you owe because your Not rent exactly. is still it's still building yeah. up. And you know when you. There's a process in place. If they don't have the two months rent to put up when they file mm-hmm. that appeal, mm-hmm. then they can ask to see the judge mm-hmm. to have a hearing on the fact that they don't have the two months rent. Yeah. That case, that hearing comes in about a week, so now they've bought themselves another week. If the judge says, "Hey, you know, if you got any kind of government assistance, they'll normally allow them uh, to waive that uh, yeah. that fee, that two months rent. They'll still have to put up one month at that point, mm. and then it'll go down to the downtown courts." Court downtown courts will hear it. Uh. If they then decide that they're evicted, they have a right to appeal that decision. If the judge says, no, you can't show me why, you know, you got a job, you can put up this two months rent, they can appeal that decision. And then Ooh. they go so down to the means. downtown court to time, appeal that. So. Time, time, and time. You have a right to appeal to any this, single yeah. decision. That's why you need in to pay somebody like Anything in, in, in law, you have a right to appeal any decision, mm-hmm. you know, and then... 
take you, it to a higher court. Go and write her check right now, Mario. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm definitely yeah. about to write her a check. Yeah. yeah you, you need to spend your time looking for property. No, right. I do. Right. Yeah. Like buying your tell property. Him, tell Man. him that. Yeah, you know. No, you, seriously. You, 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 are, know? you weren't yeah. here when he was harder, telling us how, how not he... Smarter. Okay, so <laughs> right now... Not harder, not harder. I was like... So right now he's doing his own type of rehab on a property yeah. he's going to sell next week. I said, stop. Get out of there. You let somebody else do that. I'm, I'm, my job is to look for three yeah. or four other properties. You ain't, I'm, I, as much as I like to pick up a hammer and do work, yeah. I love to do that kind of work. It's just not my but job. I mean, I, I feel like I get you a good crew. This ain't you know, my job. I, and I yeah. got, I know a number of good, good crews. I do this better. Yeah. You. I mean, <laughs> everybody, you know, and I always tell the story about the president of the United States. You know, <laughs> what makes a president great is knowing what he's not good at and putting people in place that are. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's and it's, it works the same in any business. Mm-hmm. You know, don't be a control freak. Um, I understand trying to save money initially, but there's enough profit margin. I know you you're a haggler, so um, there's enough profit margin. Get get some people that you know get in there, get the job done. You use them every time they go in, they they clean, they they do your repairs, mm-hmm. and you on to the next property. Oh. You got to evict somebody, t- turn it over to the people that handle that, mm-hmm. notifying your tenants, move on to the next property. You're creating jobs. Yeah. That's right. You're creating jobs for people. That's right. And you're creating expenses that you're going to need. That's correct. For tax purposes. It's all an expense. That's yeah. right. That's right. You need, to start pa- you need to start paying your, your people. Who? Oh. Your, your whoever's helping you, like your mom, your dad. No, I do. I, I do. I, write I them I pay a, no, write them up. No, ca- check. Because yeah. you take this off on expenses, baby. Yes. Uh, and Mario, are you doing I'm this out of it? You, you, you have an LLC? You have a corporation? Yes, yeah, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> take this out of expenses, baby. Hey, let me write you a thousand. Absolutely. Checks. So if you did five hundred dollars worth, I'm gonna still give you a thousand because I need well, it. Well, no, no, don't teach him how to lie to the IRS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put a bull There's bull enough. Jay you have enough expenses back, that you don't man. realize that are really yeah. write-offs that you don't you, want them you, on your You don't have to. You don't. That's the Gestapo. I call them the Gestapo. Jay Z said the 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 paper trail is gorgeous. Yeah. There's exactly. creative ways to do it, and and you know it's legal too, a, you, right? It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just gotta, you absolutely. Gotta, you gotta know the laws. Know. Don't don't just don't do stupid stuff. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. 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 Not yeah, reporting yeah. stuff. Um, so, do you own any real estate? Are you planning on owning real estate, or what? What part of the game are you interested? Are you just fine where you at? I'm trying. To, I'm I'm I do evictions. I. I work with attorneys, lawyers. I buy and I help sell properties all day long. I don't. I am not a landlord anymore. Um, I had anymore. a couple of properties. Yeah. What, what well, happened? I went through a divorce and we split them up. Oh, okay, all gotcha. All that stuff. That so I currently sense. own no real estate. But um, tell us about the divorce. We're trying to. We're cr- trying to mix ooh. it up. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> we're I mean, trying to mix it up here. <laughs> if you want to, well, I'm kidding. Well, and, then, and you know, and that too goes to you know, yeah. it's, it's a real, yeah. it's real estate story as well. Yeah. You know, because. Yep. You know, when you are going through a divorce, you know, yeah. that property, you guys know the simple stuff. Obviously, it was purchased while you're together, yeah. then both both people are entitled to uh-huh. that property. Even if it was purchased before you got with the person you married, it's if that person does any contributing to helping to repair or update yeah. or pay taxes yeah. for you on that property, they are still entitled to mm-hmm. a portion so of that property. It, so the the guy that you got divorced from uh-huh. is he as like legally savvy as you? No. Okay, because no, I'm like, no. man, I'd hate he to. He like... took his uh, child support to the appellate court and lost. Oh really? And had to pay it all back. I wouldn't interest. want to mess with you. And he's one of your <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> be like local, large, uh, pastors. For oh one really? Of churches here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, let's We're shake gonna it up. leave it at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But he's not. But you know, be like, he he knows the word. Uh huh. Oh well, obviously he didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, I stop. God, he, he said watched. He don't like a divorce. Hmm. <laughs> well, you, you know it. Depends. He didn't divorce me. I divorced him. Oh, uh, hey, you, you got to stop it. Yeah. Now see y'all going into another subject. I know, right? <laughs> but the but the point of the of, yeah. the of that is, you know, don't just assume. Oh, I had this before I married this person. I don't. Yeah, remember. yeah. You know, if any of that person's money has helped to contribute to maintain, update, really, yes. They are entitled to get that share of what they put in with interest, yep. to, you know, and whatever yeah. that share contributed to the um, the asset so that that property is going to produce. Really? Does he does he still own any properties? He does. So the pr- so when he when he's deceased, those go to your daughters, correct? 
Oh, leave it married. Depends. Oh, it depends. It oh, right? depends, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. That so, without Sister. a will, sister, uh, it's you know, without Alicia. a will, of course. <laughs> yeah. And and again, I'm not an attorney, yeah. so I don't yeah. give legal legal advice. Oh. But in general, and there's a lot of gray areas. Yeah. In general, you know, without a will, it goes to her. Well, the first thing Unless is you're gonna have to prove yeah. who the heirs are. Oh. Yeah. An attorney's gonna have to get involved if there's no will. You have yeah. to prove who the heirs are. I'm working on. A situation with a home right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody that passed. Only son. Um, I have the buyer for the house. But she didn't leave a will. So we have to prove. That the affid there, yeah. An affidavit of heirship has to be done. Which we do that at Ladies First. And um, prove that he is the only child. There are no other children. Hidden up under any rocks anywhere. So it and goes through probate. Well, it right? doesn't necessarily have to go through probate. It no. There's yeah, a quick way yeah. to get it done. Okay. Yeah, oh. The affidavit of heirship. And then you can immediately allow that that one heir or whoever the heirs are to start talking to the mortgage company if there's a mortgage or anybody that has to do with that property. But it's not that hard. You think it, probate people think probate they think oh God it's gonna be several years. Mm. No, you could get no, it done. It's yeah. no, in general about sixty days. Yeah, mm -hmm. sixty days to just prove the heirs, mm -hmm. and then um, that heir is given um, their right to be able to sell that property. Good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying what you do is dollar bills. I'm like, man, yeah. if you do this it's, on your own, I'm like, uh, but I'm not. Well, I mean, it is. You know, and let a lot stop. of people want to be jargonauts yeah. and think they know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I evict a lot of them uh, that think they know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I say that because I just had one, baby. He thought he. <laughs> he thought he had yeah, one. Yeah, it became personal. You do this better. every day. They're, they're part time. He just looked up on the internet how to get around the system. They're part time lawyers. Tell him about. Tell him part time, too. Tell him about that story you told me when you were in front of the judge and then that tenant got mad and he threatened you in front of the Oh judge. yeah, yeah. That was some months back. The tenant got evicted was, you know, and I had the ledger, the payment ledger. Those are things that of course you have to have if you decide not to use us. You need to have a pay a good payment ledger when they've paid, when a check has been bounced. Absolutely have that. That's going to be yeah. your lease and how you gave them their 3-day notices. Those are the things that you need to to evict someone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had a tenant, I had the ledger. He's alleging that he made a payment that is not on my ledger, and we know he didn't make this payment, and ultimately mm -hmm. the judge ruled for us. And What if, what if the landlord, landlord doesn't do his job and there is no ledger? Um, that's that's grounds that's for the judge to say, you know yeah. what, I don't see any accurate ledger, so exactly. I'm throwing this case out. Go figure out when they paid and go, go come pay exactly. us another $121 well, You can't expect again. the judge to figure that stuff out. Like, They're not no, going to. No. Yeah, You're I'm not so going to show them. But you run across yeah. that, right? A lot. Yeah. I know I, a lot, I know what, a lot what, of people do what, it like what that. What if a tenant pays you cash? If you don't and, have receipts to yeah. show and yeah. you haven't had that tenant sign, it's your word against theirs. Exactly. You know, and, and a like, fair yeah, judge is going yeah. to basically um, take the tenant side. Well, it's going to basically, you you know, you just don't put anybody out unless you can show exactly. that they actually, if they say we paid and you say um, no, they didn't, and there's no ledger, yep. it could go either way, yeah. you know, and yeah, you've got yeah. some judges out here, you know, they're, they're not just out here to put people out. Yep. But to finish the story, bottom line, the guy got evicted. He told me in front of the judge. Um, that yeah, he was gonna whip my ass when we got to the parking lot. <laughs> wow! I don't care if we in front of a judge or not. Damn! I know so, you uh, tore that ass up. It was a Friday. <laughs> it was a Friday in court. I'm kidding. And he he got to spend his weekend in the <laughs> county jail. Oh wow. man! Yeah. She tell. Oh, they say the what the pen is mightier than the sword. Okay. Wow. Or you can and he you can beat the case, but you can't beat the ride. Is that oh about? man, I heard that before. And, and my yeah. one of my professors, <laughs> let me. And I'm gonna give you another yeah. tidbit for free. One of my law professors basically told me, you know, what is the number one thing that people get arrested for? I don't know. I'll give you that one. Give me don't one say, answer. I'll say bag number talking for I don't know. People get arrested for do you, do you disorderly do you conduct. Lie? Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Uh, yeah. You were close. It's uh, called pop. Pissing off the police. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which really? means you can beat the rap. Man, you're going to get in court and discover. Yeah. Ride, but you're yeah. about to take the ride, yep. go through the process, get somebody to come get you, mm -hmm. and then you get to plead your case and show that this cop completely lied on you and all mm -hmm. of that. But you're going to be inconvenienced for a minute. minute yeah, you yeah. know? And oh, yeah. don't nobody want to go it costs that. Money. Wow. It costs money. Oh, it's going to cost you yeah. some money. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. Don't so. piss off the police. P.O.P. Wow. P.O.P. I've done that a few times. I actually yeah. got off one time for 
pissing him off. He's just like, all right, man, just get out of my face. No, I'm, I'm, police, but, I'm police friendly. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, no, nah, I was back to blue, baby. Okay. I don't know, even man. If, I don't like even tickets, if I don't man, mean it. But, back to blue, baby. <laughs> uh, right. You know what? We didn't even. Mario always like, hey, how did you get into the business? Where, you know, what high school did you go to? We're not gonna go that far back. Not saying. Oh, you trying to? Be I know. I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm saying we ain't we ain't trying to go all the way. You know. Oh, the jokes. Yeah. I want to talk about the preacher man. No, uh, no. Where did? How did you get into paralegal stuff? Like, uh, I'm just so, interested because so you, you gotta... know what he wants to talk about the no, preacher no, no, man. No, 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 it's a no, joke. no, no, no. No, no, no. But that's that how time. I got go into ahead. it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I was dating an attorney. And um, we had a long relationship, and during that process, my ex-husband, I was newly divorced, and he decided he wanted to try and take custody of my children. Uh And we started a long two-year battle um, for custody of my children, and the guy I was dating, he's a federal criminal attorney. He never done family law, mm-hmm. and he, of course, he's my man. He got to do my case for me, mm-hmm. but he was like, if I do this case, I hate family law. You're going to do all the research. You're going to be the one yeah. that files all the motions. Oh, You're going to come man. up here. And, and and I did, you know, because otherwise I would have spent about thirty, forty thousand. 40000 You know what? To get my kids. This oh. sounds like a book deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a lot of stories. Wow, like that's, that. that's pretty good. But, yeah, and that's how I started. And it was just very fascinating. I've always yeah. been um, interested in the legal process. And I want to say this to everybody. Whether you want to get into the legal field or not, even you guys as investors, everybody should take law classes. They're 200 and some odd dollars at HCC. Take real estate law. Take law office practice. Take, take a couple of those classes. You will learn stuff for life that you'll use in your business. You'll use part in your personal because everything you do in your personal life is contract-based. I was going to say, you realize it or not. contract law, so, contract yes, law. Contract law. I mean, everything you do in life yeah. is based on a contract that you've signed, whether mm-hmm. you bought a house, whether you're using a credit card, whether you've agreed to buy a car, yeah. whether you're renting a property, mm-hmm. whether you, you're employed with an employer. Yeah. Everything is based on a contract that you do in life. And being able to read that, that contract and understand that verbiage yeah. and, and maneuver through it, a lot of things you don't need an attorney for if you just understand what your rights are. Mm-hmm. You know, And now with the Internet, you don't have to go to a legal library and go through all these books and look up cases and all of that. You know, the power of the computer, you can just Google a lot of the questions that you have. And you can literally ask Google any question that you want to know, mm-hmm. and it's going to take you to a source to be able to give you an answer to your situation. Surround yourself with the right people, too. Yeah, that yeah. Because, uh, like you said, you got these... Uh, Want to be want to be attorneys? Wanna be attorneys. Yeah, exactly. But I, I like oh, this, that's me. I like I'm, whole, a, I'm the want to be. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, you're legit. I, I'm taking I'm just, it. I mean, but I, day, and though. I work through different yeah. law offices. But no, yeah. but you contract. Get, you I work get, from home. You get stuff done, and you yeah. do it I mean, every and, day. You know, and if some people yeah. come to me every day, you know, hey, you know, I, I want to buy this piece of property. Da, da da da. You know, I can do your affidavit of airship and all that, but ultimately, I have to have one of my attorneys mm-hmm. is going to have to handle that. And so I have four great attorneys that I work through. Um, whether it's real estate or whether it's buying and selling property or real estate is the same thing, whether it has to do with a dispute, a contract dispute, whatever the case mm-hmm. is, you know, um, I do contract work for a number of attorneys. But surround yourself with a good group of lawyers mm-hmm. or people that work with lawyers. And most importantly, educate yourself. Take some classes, you know. And you can, if you take at least two classes at HCC, you can get a grant to do that. Yep. And it's paid for. You have to mm. pay that money back. Two classes is five hundred some odd dollars at HCC. Most people will be granted five to eight thousand dollars by the government to go to school, mm-hmm. unless you have a felony or unless you have previous student loans. But mm-hmm. take the classes. How long does it uh, take to be a paralegal? Or do you have? Uh, I know I used to see like home courses. I don't know if that's legit, or do you have to go to HCC, or you can do either or. You don't have to do anything to be a paralegal. Are you serious? In the state of Texas, you Are don't you have to serious? have any kind of certification to go to work for a law office and be a law office assistant mm. to be a paralegal. There is no certification process currently in the state of Texas. Wow. Yes, I chose to take the paralegal, paralegal technology program at yeah. HCC. Okay. But I could have just 
How long started does that take? working. It's a two-year program. Two-year program. Mm-hmm. Okay. And okay. then you have to intern at the end at, with the law office, mm-hmm. and it's you know all your professors are attorneys. Night classes, all the law classes that HCC offers are um, are done at the downtown campus, mm-hmm. but it's it you know all the professors are attorneys, and you're you're pretty much guaranteed to get placed with the law office. But if I had decided to just continue working at my boyfriend's office. And and doing the paralegal, and essentially that's what I was doing when I was yeah. researching my own case. Yeah, there is no certification. You would have been in the oh, state of Texas. Been good. There are in other states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in the state of Texas. Okay, you I have, was you curious. Just understand I was filing. Yeah, understand um, the processes of the court. Mm-hmm. Um, understand, you know, the time frame in which things have to mm-hmm. be done. A lot of and 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 the um, the uh, the period, you know, that. Mm-hmm passes that basically yeah. you are not uh, you know able to pursue a case anymore um but no no legal requirement in the state of to Texas. assist yeah. an attorney and again and to do evictions you can you walk in the court as as the attorney and you represent fully you plead the cases jury mm-hmm. trial you pick the jury you do the board dwyer process where you are basically deciding who you want to strike from the jury all of that can be done in landlord tenant, and and you don't have to be an attorney. But I would advise you to know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. good. So, that's the kind of person you need in your back pocket. Yeah. Oh, we, you already know it's. Yep. Definitely. Because you don't want to waste your time, bro. You make than anybody, to be honest. It's time consuming. Yeah. You know, and it's and it's, it's a headache, and then you know, and then it keeps you. Removed from from the personal, yeah, the emotional, yep. the, the emotional, emotional, the personal, yeah. Yep. Is there uh, anything outside of what you're doing right now that you want to promote, or you think is important oh to gosh. you, or yes? F- so I have a ton of things I want to promote. Okay, um, you got you got set, go. you got thirty seconds. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Most importantly, um, upcoming, I do third Thursdays at Phil and Derek's. Come out and see us this thurs- third Thursday, Phil and Derek's. Um, we have DJ Terry Franks on the DJ side, and we have Kyle Turner on the jazz live entertainment side. So um, that is also underwritten by She Vies Houses, mm-hmm. uh, Deborah Barnes. And um, then we have the Sisters of Jam. And so we are a group of singers. I personally am a jazz singer, and we do that once a month. Um, we're right now we're doing what's called the Sisters Jam Citywide Tour. Sisters Jam Citywide Tour is a different venue around town every month and the sisters get together it's an all ladies jam and we call it sisters jam with brothers on the side because of course we need the brothers but Mm -hmm. we try to have as many female um, vocalists and of course uh, musicians to back us up and we have a really good time this last one was at the red rooster month before that we did at cafe 4212 i personally have a venue that'll be opening up with some partners um the end of this month um, Club Ballers. We are at Bracewood and Fondren, um, so 9940 Fondren Club Ballers. Look for that. We'll be doing a lot of events. If you're looking for a venue, come do it with us. And lastly, I am on the committee for the um, Afro Latin Festival. We just did our kickoff, um, and Mayor Turner proclaimed July 27th as Afro Latin Festival Week. Afro Latin Festival kicks off on July 27th. We are having a mixer at the African American Museum featuring New Grove Rum next Thursday. Free drinks, free food, come through, and it's um, a conglomeration of African and African African American and Latin artists it's a four-day event that'll be at the crown plaza and i sit on the board for the houston blues museum shout out to the houston blues museum houston blues society ton of events coming up go to houstonbluesmuseum.org thank you for the plugs nice nice awesome awesome. awesome. i am so happy you came on i thank you for the information i I actually didn't think you were going to come so really i am am happy you came yeah so she's a singer (laughs) <laughs> Entertainer That's and right. the only thing I don't know is are you are you Latin too? Um African American. I was raised in Honolulu. <laughs> oh, okay. But um but That's I'm another story American itself, and my right? mother was, my mother's family's from Baton Rouge. Oh, oh okay. Raised in Hawaii culture. but not Hawaiian. Uh huh. So how do people contact you? You get a lot of culture then. Absolutely. A lot of yeah. Yeah. Contact you, you wanna give out your contact yeah, information? So, so before you yeah, go ahead. you do that, you were saying about the third Third Thursdays, third Thursdays at Phil and Derek. And the other thing 
the the sisters the, the jam. Sister. So if somebody wants to know where to find y'all singing at, mm-hmm. where do they go? So they could go to Facebook, um, sisters jam or sisters jazz jam. It was jazz jam, but now we're sisters jam because we have um, Tweed Smith who used to be with War. We have Jewel Brown who used to be with Louis Armstrong. Um, we have. Uh, a host of females. Well, we have um, uh, Regina Hearn, who's now starring in Sisters, the musical at the Ensemble Theater. So we're the Sisters Jam. Go to Facebook, Google, put in Sisters Jam. Um, you can go to Phil and Derek's website and look for us Third Thursdays. These are events that don't have a cover. Um, and we'll be Third Thursdays doing our thing. And then, of course, the Afro Latin Festival. You can go to the Afro-Latin Festival, just Google that, and all the Eventbrite information will come up. And to reach me, to do your evictions, Angela Morgan, um, ladies first, and you can call me at 832-880-1091, 832-880-1091. I'm ladies first on Facebook, or you can do Angela Morgan on Facebook. Nice. Yeah, that's a wrap. I like that's that. That's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it, folks. Yeah. So. All right. We'll catch y'all next week. Mariano, yeah. you're going to have your uh, your foreclosure lady come next week? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. She, um, she she's going to make herself available. She's going to come uh, and talk you, to you. You going to come with her? Or you gonna I can. Okay, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, if you okay. want to, you sure, can. Yeah. sure. I might have a new project by next week. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come yeah. promote. Yeah. Cool, so cool. if, again, uh, Mario buys houses. Yes, he does. So uh, if you're right. having any issues, you're going through foreclosure, uh, you uh, are, are having any problems? Mario buys houses. How how can we reach you, Mario? Uh, my cell phone number is eight three two eight five nine one eight five eight. Say it again. Eight three two eight five nine one eight five eight. My say it again. Say it backwards. Eight three two eight five nine one eight five eight. All right, that's a wrap. All right. All right. Thank you so Next much. Next week, guys. you're welcome. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye